Well, imagine this, flying from Tampa to China, Australia, or anywhere else in less than an hour. What do you got? What's going on? Well, I mean, exciting. Elon Musk has just pulled the curtain back on a mind-blowing space jet that could fly you to places like China or Australia in under an hour. This stunning star jet promises to revolutionize flying, blasting along the edge of space faster than sound itself. Musk revealed this beast with its sharp, sleek nose and massive wings designed for insane speeds at a show-stopping live event. Could this be the dawn of a new era in travel? Let us dive into what this groundbreaking moment means for all of us. Starjet imagines a new kind of aircraft that can take off straight up into the sky without needing a runway. It could fly you from Tampa to places like China or Australia in less than an hour. This amazing new idea could change air travel forever, flying at speeds much faster than the speed of sound and close to the edge of space. Elon Musk, the man behind SpaceX, hopes to launch this groundbreaking craft by 2024. As the world watched breathless with anticipation, the countdown began. Musk, who changed the car industry with Tesla's electric vehicles and created reusable rockets, now wants to change how we fly with his superfast space jet called Starjet. This jet could make the world feel much smaller, letting you fly from New York to Tokyo in less time than most people spend getting to work. The Starjet would fly high where the air is thinner, reaching speeds up to Mach 5, which is around 3,800 miles per hour. If successful, it would be the fastest passenger jet ever. Unlike the Concorde, which was the last supersonic jet and stopped flying in 2003, the Starjet will use new materials and technology to go faster and be more efficient. At a live event, Musk showed off the futuristic look of the Starjet. It has a long, pointed nose and big wings designed to reduce drag and boost speed. Even though it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, Musk says the Starjet is very real and moving quickly toward becoming a reality. The Starjet combines the best of both airplanes and rockets. It will take off and land like a regular plane but switch to rocket engines once it's in the air, allowing it to zoom into the upper atmosphere. The jet will use the Raptor engine, which is a new kind of rocket engine powered by liquid methane and oxygen. This will help it fly at higher altitudes where traditional jets can't operate. The Starjet's body will be made of special materials like lightweight carbon fiber and metals that can withstand extreme heat. This is important because, at such high speeds, the aircraft will face intense heat and friction. Its design also helps reduce air resistance, making it smoother and faster as it flies through the sky. Inside the Starjet, things are just as advanced. The cabin will keep passengers comfortable even at high altitudes, and the jet's stability systems will make the ride smooth and free from turbulence. These features show Musk's focus on not just speed and technology but also on the comfort and safety of the passengers. But this isn't the toughest part. Musk still faces many obstacles, from technical challenges to meeting government rules. Supersonic flights over land are currently banned because they're too noisy, and Musk will need to prove that the Starjet is safe to regulators like the FAA. He plans to fly at higher altitudes to reduce noise and take routes over oceans to follow the rules. If Musk can overcome these challenges, the Starjet could change how we travel and connect the world. Imagine going to a meeting on the other side of the globe and being back home in time for dinner or taking a weekend trip to explore distant cultures. The economic possibilities are huge, with new markets and faster global connections. As 2024 gets closer, excitement for the Starjet is growing. Musk plans to hold public demonstrations at major airports so people can see the technology and meet the team behind it. While there are still many hurdles to overcome, the Starjet offers a glimpse into a future where even the wildest ideas can become reality if pursued with enough passion and determination. Let's look at a new marvel changing our skies, the dawn of the Starjet era. We're standing at the edge of an exciting new era, full of fresh discoveries and amazing opportunities. Every step we take brings us closer to a future filled with mind-blowing innovations and changes. One of the most thrilling advancements is the Starjet, a true masterpiece of modern engineering. Its design and technology are set to completely transform how we travel. Let's take a closer look at what makes this incredible aircraft so special and the breakthroughs behind its amazing performance. At the core of the Starjet's success is its advanced propulsion system. This system smartly combines two types of engines, giving the jet the ability to excel at both takeoff and high-speed travel. During takeoff and landing, it uses engines that mix traditional aviation methods with cutting-edge technology from SpaceX. When it's time to really speed up, the Starjet switches to powerful Raptor engines. These engines, designed for high-altitude travel, run on a combination of liquid methane and oxygen, making the aircraft both efficient and more eco-friendly. But the Raptor engines are more than just powerful they're also incredibly durable. 
they can handle extreme conditions while flying faster than Mach 5. Thanks to the cooling effect of the liquid methane, the engines stay in top shape, avoiding the dangers of overheating. Another reason the Starjet performs so well is its aerodynamic design. Its smooth, streamlined body, pointed nose, and triangular wings all help reduce air resistance, allowing it to cut through the sky with ease. The plane structure is made from lightweight yet strong materials like carbon fiber and special heat-resistant metals, enabling it to handle the intense demands of high-speed travel. Plus, the exterior is coated with a special heat protection layer to manage the heat generated by air friction. And here's something to think about, but this isn't even the most impressive part yet. The Starjet's avionics and control systems are top of the line. With the latest in navigation and communication technology, it can handle precise maneuvers with ease. Its fly-by-wire system, which shifts control from mechanical to electronic, ensures pinpoint accuracy, which is crucial when flying at such high speeds. Despite all this focus on speed and technology, passenger comfort hasn't been overlooked. The cabin is designed to be both luxurious and peaceful, even at high altitudes and incredible speeds. With large windows, a pressurized cabin, and seats that minimize turbulence discomfort, it offers a smooth ride. Climate control, noise reduction, and a full range of entertainment options ensure passengers have a relaxing experience. The Starjet is also built with the environment in mind. Elon Musk's vision for sustainability plays a big role here, with the use of cleaner burning methane and carefully chosen flight paths to reduce carbon emissions and avoid ecologically sensitive areas, lessening noise pollution. When the Starjet hits the market, it's expected to reshape the aviation industry. It will make travel time significantly shorter, open new possibilities for global travel, and improve connections worldwide. Everyone from business travelers and tourists to cargo shippers will benefit from its speed and efficiency. Looking further ahead, the Starjet could be just the beginning. It may lead to advances in hypersonic travel and even space tourism. Musk's ultimate goal is to build aircraft capable of flying at Mach 10 while exploring even greener energy alternatives, pushing the boundaries of aviation even further. And as we get ready for the Starjet's launch in 2024, one thing is clear. This aircraft is set to change the world of travel as we know it. It's proof of what human creativity and determination can achieve, inspiring us to keep reaching for new heights in aviation and beyond. Now let's see a new fast plane from the Air Force, hypersonic plane, America's race to hypersonic flight. The United States Air Force is getting ready to launch the fastest plane ever built, one that will fly faster than any other plane in the world. This new aircraft will even surpass the secret military planes of countries like China, Russia, and Japan. Scientists say we're close to experiencing hypersonic travel, all thanks to an American company called Hermes Corporation. Hypersonic planes can fly at speeds of Mach 5 or more, that's five times the speed of sound, around 3,800 miles per hour. At that speed, a plane could cross the Atlantic Ocean in just two hours. While the US has successfully launched rockets that reach these speeds, it's been more challenging to achieve this in planes. But now there's hope. Hermes, a new player in the aerospace world, is working to change this. Hermes was founded in 2018 by a group of engineers with a big dream, to change aerospace technology. By 2019, the company was up and running in Atlanta, Georgia. They got their first big financial boost from Casa Ventures, and by 2022, they raised $100 million with help from entrepreneur Sam Altman and Peter Till's Founders Fund. By 2024, Hermes is on the verge of making its dream come true, they built an aircraft that could revolutionize military aviation. Hermes is currently working on a hypersonic jet for the US military, with experienced leaders like AJ Piplica, Skylar Shuffett, and Mike Smay at the helm. Piplica, the CEO, previously worked on developing a hypersonic plane for the Air Force at Generation Orbit Launch Services. This new jet, called the Quarter Horse 1 Malawian Kwacha, is set to change the way the Air Force flies. It can travel at speeds over Mach 5, which means a trip from New York to London could take just 15 minutes. That's a game-changer in both military and possibly even commercial travel. But that's not all. The Quarter Horse 1 Malawian Kwacha is a small plane, about 130 feet long, and it's mainly a technology test model. It's designed to fly stealthily and handle extreme heat, making it perfect for military use. But Hermes isn't stopping there, they're already planning for its successor, called Dark Horse, an unmanned hypersonic jet designed for advanced warfare. In 2023, Hermes carried out numerous tests, from takeoffs to testing the jet's engine and control systems. The military wanted something faster and more advanced than the retired Lockheed Martin State Route 71 Blackbird, once the fastest plane. 
The blackbird could fly higher and faster than anything else and evade threats simply with its speed. But the competition is heating up. Russia and China are developing missiles that could threaten current US planes, so the US has turned to companies like Hermes to stay ahead. They're also looking at using this technology for commercial planes. In 2020, Hermes won a $1.5 million contract from the US Army to create a new presidential aircraft. That funding later grew to over $60 million, allowing Hermes to work on a civilian hypersonic plane called Halcyon. This new plane could replace the current Air Force One, promising faster, more efficient presidential travel with advanced refueling technology. Of course, Hermes isn't the only company working on hypersonic planes. NASA and Lockheed Martin are also making big moves. NASA has been developing the X-59, a supersonic plane that's expected to fly in 2024. What makes the X-59 special is that it's designed to fly fast without making loud sonic booms, which is a big deal for flying over cities. Next, we'll see how new companies are joining the race, the battle for supersonic dominance. Hermes is also facing competition from Exosonic, Inc., a company focused on hypersonic drones. Exosonic is working with the Air Force to create a supersonic unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, for training pilots. This is crucial since the Air Force is dealing with a shortage of pilots, limiting training opportunities. As the aerospace world continues to evolve, companies like Hermes are leading the way in this new era of high-speed travel. If the Air Force can successfully build and use these drones, UAVs, it could save a lot of money that is usually spent on training pilots. On top of that, it would help extend the life of the current fighter jets by reducing how often they are used. Spike Aerospace, a company based in Boston, plays a major role in the aerospace and defense world. They directly compete with some of the top companies in the supersonic aircraft market. Spike Aerospace has introduced the Spike S-512, a business jet that's designed to cut down on travel time. For example, a trip from New York City to London could take only 3 to 4 hours compared to the usual 6 to 7 hours. One of the most interesting things about this jet is that it has no windows. Instead, it uses cameras placed outside to show the view on thin, curved screens inside the cabin. This allows passengers to see outside without the need for actual windows. The jet is 122 feet long with a wingspan of 58 feet and can carry 18 passengers. It can take off with a maximum weight of 52,163 kilograms and holds 56,000 pounds of fuel. The Spike S-512 can fly at a top speed of 1,189 miles per hour, Mach 1.8, and cruises at 1,156 miles per hour, Mach 1.6. Though still in development, once it's ready, the Spike S-512 could completely change the way we think about air travel. Another big name in this field was Arian Corporation, an American company that started in 2003 but shut down in 2021. Arian was founded by Texan billionaire Robert Bass and their goal was to change the future of supersonic travel. They were working on a 10-passenger jet that could reduce flight times across the Atlantic Ocean by three hours. They were trying to achieve this with a new boomless cruise technology, which would remove the loud sonic boom that typically comes with supersonic travel. Arian was also focusing on environmental impact. They planned to create the first jet that wouldn't need afterburners, which are usually used for extra speed but create more pollution. This jet was also designed to run on biofuels to make it even more eco-friendly. In 2004, Arian launched the Arian SBJ, which quickly caught the attention of many. In fact, 50 people showed serious interest in buying the jet. Then, in 2014, they upgraded the design to the Arian AS-2, a 12-passenger jet capable of flying at Mach 1.4. Now let's explore other exciting flying projects, the next generation of supersonic travel. The plane was designed to fly at least 5,470 miles and could travel just below the speed of sound while over land. This was done to follow rules that limit faster than sound travel in certain areas. Now let's look at another company making waves in aerospace, Boom Supersonic. This American company is working on a supersonic airliner called Boom Overture. They are also building a smaller, scaled-down version called the Boom XB-1, which has been given the cute nickname Baby Boom. Boom Supersonic was founded in 2014 by Blake Scholl, Joe Wilding, and Josh Kroll in Dove Valley, Colorado. At first, it got funding from investors like Y Combinator, Sam Altman, the Sarah Tetowell Group, and eight partners. Over time, other investors also contributed, allowing Boom to explore the future of supersonic travel. One of their standout projects is the Boom XB-1. This plane is designed to travel at twice the speed of sound, Mach 2.2, and can fly over 1,000 nautical miles. 
It's powered by three General Electric J85-15 engines, each capable of producing 4,300 pounds of thrust. The plane was first shown in October 2020, but although it was supposed to fly in 2022, delays have pushed the test flight to March 2024. But that's not the only exciting thing they're working on. Boom Supersonic is also developing the Boom Overture, another supersonic aircraft expected to fly at Mach 1.7 and cover 4,250 nautical miles. This aircraft will be able to carry between 65 and 88 passengers at speeds of up to 1,100 miles per hour using its Symphony engine. By December 2017, Boom had already gotten 76 commitments from airlines interested in supersonic travel. If we zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture, it's clear that modern efforts like Boom's are inspired by past aerospace achievements. In the 1950s, after supersonic bombers were introduced, many countries began dreaming of passenger planes that could fly faster than the speed of sound. In the UK and France, governments launched projects to make these planes, with each country building parts separately. This collaboration resulted in the famous Concorde, a plane that could reach 1,350 miles per hour, and it was put together in two different plants, one in Filton, England, and the other in Toulouse, France. At its peak, the Concorde was considered the most impressive passenger plane because of its incredible speed. Its outer surface would get as hot as 260 degrees Fahrenheit and even expand by 7 in due to how fast it flew. This plane could travel from London to New York in just 3 hours and 20 minutes, cutting regular flight times in half. However, building such a fast plane required the latest technology, which made it very expensive to produce. By 1972, airlines had placed 74 orders for the Concorde, but only a few were eventually purchased, and those were sold at reduced prices. The already high costs of the Concorde became even harder to justify when fuel prices shot up after the oil crisis of 1973. At the same time, the Boeing 747, a much more fuel-efficient plane, was introduced. As a result, the Concorde quickly lost its appeal and soon it was barely considered in the aerospace industry. But this wasn't the worst part. A tragic event on July 25, 2000, in Paris, marked the beginning of the end for the Concorde. Shortly after takeoff from Charles de Gaulle Airport, a tire on the Concorde exploded. Pieces of rubber hit the fuel tank, causing a massive fire and damaging the plane's wiring. Despite the pilot's best efforts, the crash couldn't be avoided, and it became one of the most heartbreaking moments in aviation history. After this accident, airlines turned away from supersonic jets, and manufacturers stopped making them. By 2003, building passenger supersonic planes was banned, and aerospace companies were told not to produce these kinds of aircraft. Now, engineers trying to develop new supersonic jets face tough challenges. These planes need to be quiet, environmentally friendly, and most importantly, safe for passengers. But that's not all. For supersonic travel to make a comeback, the public needs to accept these planes without hesitation. Despite these challenges, scientists and engineers are still hopeful, inspired by the progress made by a company like Hermes in this field. Currently, civilian supersonic technology is evolving from its military origins, using advanced techniques originally developed for the military. As Hermes continues its work, we can remain hopeful and look forward to the exciting advancements that might soon benefit everyone. But the journey isn't over yet, there are still many hurdles to overcome before we see supersonic jets back in the skies for passenger travel. What do you think? Should supersonic jets make a comeback for passenger travel despite the risks? Like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below.